starting with $200 and turning it into over $28,000 trading options. And I'll be doing this by growing my account 10% each week. Here are the rules. Can't risk more than 30% of my account per trade. At the end of each day, any money over the weekly goal is to be banked and put to the side should I need it for the future. Odds are I will. It helps keep me from getting too greedy. And last but certainly not least, have an entry and exit plan for every trade I take. If this is the first episode you're seeing, I highly recommend you click on the card above right here and start from the beginning. And now without further interruption, let's get to it. What's up family? We are here for week six. We're here for our morning check-in. Let's take a look at the portfolio. All right, so here we are looking at the portfolio. Current balance, if you look at the buying power, it is 323. The account is at 324.02. And the goal for this week is 355. Anything more than that is profit going into the bank. We are going to keep chugging along. I gotta say, personally, the hardest part of this challenge for me is sticking to the plan, trusting the plan, and not FOMOing. Today was crazy wild. We hit our goal for the week. So week six in the books, looking good. Made a little bit of extra money, but boy, my trades did everything I expected them to and so much more. Nothing else to say, let's just hop into Robinhood. Here we are in the Robinhood. As you can see, we are up 12.59% on the day. Hey, that's more than 10, so hey, we looking good. We're currently up $40.78, and the goal today was 355, and it's currently chilling at 364. Got a little bit of money to take out and put in the bank, which I'll, I'll do in a little bit. As you can see, we still have just under $190 buying power for the day but i'm going to leave that alone and that's something that's been a struggle because if we come down here look at stocks the ones i was looking at have been running lots of volatility today looks like easy money good thing is i was i have other accounts i'm able to trade in so definitely took advantage of that part of me wants to run this account up as much as possible too first trade meta had massive earnings and I wanted to trade it, but I didn't hold long enough. I had some calls. I bought in for $65 and bought it right at open. Did go up for a little bit, but didn't sell fast enough or didn't hold long enough. However you want to look at it. And I sold out nine minutes later for $48. So took a loss on that. Let's quickly take a chart just so you can see where price was in relevance to my trading. All right, so here we are looking at Meta. So I got in on this very first candle right here. I actually broke down past my stop loss. It went down there, happened so quickly, I realized it was just a quick sweep of liquidity and then it continued up. But I got out right here and the reason I got out is because I saw I hit my goal on my other trade. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna leave it alone. Not even gonna play with it. But Meta came up smashed my first target for it which was the previous highs and went so much higher the next trade we took was on amd and let me show you so we bought two contracts paid 34 each for a total cost of 68 dollars, and then we sold out for a total of 125.94 so right there off this trade made just under 100 percent. it was nice trade so i was like yo that's it for the day i knew it could keep running but left alone i was like yo i see my account is up let me take these profits now to show you the setup all right so here we are looking at amd again today i entered the trade right here on this candle right here at uh, about 173.61 and i exited right here i want to let you know today was a friday which is why i was able to get returns like that so quickly and also because today was a friday i didn't want to play any games i didn't want to see AMD, I let it go. Had I held to my target, that would have been an easy at least $400 profit. Another week down, another week in the books. For last week, taking two days, I'm more than grateful to have had a one day week this week. And yeah, the name of the game is consistency. I just need to focus on the plan and stick to it. If you're not in the Discord, hey, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. If you enjoyed the video, learn anything, be sure to smash the like button and share this with a friend. Many life lessons being shared in this challenge. And if for some reason you made it this far and haven't already, hey, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.